When you are reading notes, only a small fraction of the data are registered in the memory. The rest will vanish even before you close the book. If you are using passive learning methods like reading notes, summarizing, highlighting or listening to lectures or podcasts, this video is exactly for you. In this video, you'll learn how active recall builds a strong memory and the exact methods I used in medical school to get great results. I also have a challenge for you. Take a piece of paper and create a short note from this video. At the end of the video, I will test the strength of your passive note-taking. What is active recall? This is Mark and he's reading some notes. Some of his brain areas seem to be highly active. The occipital cortex creates images of what he sees, but the interpretation of written word is done by the angular gyrus and the fusiform cortex. After the analysis, data are sent to the hippocampus to store as memory. You can stimulate muscle growth by doing exercises. Similarly, the best way to develop a strong memory is by stimulating the hippocampus. How do you do that? The answer is active recall. Reading notes will stimulate visual areas of the brain, but the hippocampus will not be effectively stimulated. That is why re-reading is inferior to active recall. So how can Mark stimulate his hippocampus? He should close the book and try to recall what he learned. This time, he is recalling not from the book, but from the hippocampus. This will stimulate the hippocampus and strengthen his memory. Every time you do this, the memory will become even more powerful. How to do active recall effectively. Method number one, create questions. First, learn the concepts from your resources and write down your notes. Then, create a list of questions based on those notes. Each time you study, try to answer these questions without looking at the notes. If you can answer them well, bravo, you have created a strong memory. Otherwise, study the notes again and have another go at the questions. You can also create flashcards with questions on the front and the answers on the back. Method number two, use the spaced repetition tool like Anki. Anki is a flashcard app where you can enter the questions on the front and answers on the back. The smart thing about Anki is that it is based on spaced repetition. It will show you the same set of questions in increasing time intervals. That means you have to recall the notes today, then three days later, then seven days later, and so on. This is the ultimate study technique since you are incorporating spaced repetition and active recall together. Method number three, utilize multiple sensory pathways for active recall. Let me explain. Don't just recall using your mind. I always recall writing on a whiteboard or speaking out loud. Sometimes I pretend to teach the concepts to a group of imaginary students. This way, my brain gets stimulated through multiple sensory pathways. Method number four, do practice questions. When you are taking questions, you are recalling information from the memory. So it is a form of active recall. On the other hand, this will test your understanding of the concepts. You will also learn to recall information under stress like in an actual exam. If you watched until this moment, it's time for the challenge. I'll ask some questions from this video. Don't look at your notes, try to recall them from the memory and realize how ineffective passive learning is. You can find the answers in the description.